So it is another day. This is the Ollie Rodriguez Dolman channel. And what's one of the things I'm known for? Oh yeah, making unboxings on M&M's limited edition vinyls. And today, I'm pretty sure that's what this is. So with a quick snip snap, and another snip snap, and then it's rip like that. We are into it. Now, if this is what I think it is, I believe this, yep, yeah, it is. It is, of course it is. It's in the video title, and you already know what it is. I had to make sure that I hadn't ordered some other random vinyl, but you might be able to see from there. We have the limited edition 8 Mile soundtrack on vinyl. But what I was just about to say is that this, I'm pretty sure was available for pre-order about a year ago. I'm fairly sure it must have been around that time when I pre-ordered this and I've been waiting on it for, I'm gonna say 10 to 12 months. Although that could be a lie, this might have been November time because there was something else I got as well, but I'll get to that as a little bonus thing later. But, ooh, that is nice. And rip. Okay, so this is going for the similar feel of the 20th anniversary of the Eminem show, basically. Maybe they found their flow of what they like to do with the whole like almost book thing with how this opens. Like that. But one thing I really like about this is I'm not sure how well this comes across on camera, but you can kind of see if I do it a bit more of an angle, but it kind of has a bit more engraving. So if I then do this, you can see me. But it gives you a whole map of the eight mile area. I feel like I already like this a lot more than the Eminem show anniversary vinyl, just because like it feels like, I feel like that one in between when you're going through like the pages, they kind of stick together a bit more, whereas this feels like they're a bit more free flowing and able to just go through it a bit more cleaner. In terms of the soundtrack, it's a great soundtrack. because It fits really well the film. I feel like there's quite a few which are probably a bit more like, like especially like the Nas and like Jay-Z and Rakim sort of tracks on here. I feel like those sort of things are kind of like Eminem kind of in that stage of his life and like those are the people he sort of he looked up to and got him into rap so I feel like that's kind of like a nice way to have them on the track list to fit in more with the film and well as well and in terms of just listening to the track list it's a good track list. If you love rap and you love like proper old school hip-hop I think this is like a great one to have. If I am completely honest with you like Obviously it's a limited edition thing, so it's kind of a bit more, I've got it more for that sake of it. The word's gone out of my head, but basically I've just got this whole dedicated like part of my vinyl collection to him. So it's like whenever there's like anything Eminem limited edition version of the vinyl, I will try and get it. So this one for me, I'm not really like someone who goes and listens to the 8 Mile soundtrack. Actually there's one album in Eminem's discography that I've listened to less than the 8 Mile one and that would be the re-up. But other than that, the 8 Mile soundtrack is my least listened to like Eminem album if you want to call it that. But that's not to say it's bad, like it's not got any bad qualities to it. All the songs make sense, they fit in with the vibe and actual story of the character of B-Rabbit. And maybe that's what I should focus on more in this video because 8 Mile is probably the most iconic rap film that there is. Like no matter what anyone thinks of Eminem, they like this film. But I think the greatest thing about the 8 Mile film is it's kind of like, it's just storytelling one on one. You basically get the first two acts where you basically get the main protagonist basically just getting beaten down for the whole film. Building up sympathy for the character, knowing he's good enough. That's just storytelling one on one and 8 Mile does that to a T. From the moment he gets into the final, like, I think it's three rap battles, you were just hooked, you were looking at it. Pretty sure it's that final rap battle that he's in, and it's just like when he says, now everybody in the 313, get your motherfucking hands up and follow me, just like, that is so good of a starting bit. And actually, that's just unlocked a memory for me, actually, because I remember my English teacher, whilst I was at secondary school, basically used 8 Mile as, like, the perfect example of, like, Somehow it linked in there. I can't remember what the exact example was. I just know he used 8 Mile to prove an example in English, but it was something about like calling out everything about himself that was Eminem. It was just something to do with the fact that B Rabbit in the film points out all of his flaws and everything that's happened to him, but then uses that as kind of taking away his opponent's advantage. It was something to do with that whole concept. Either way, the film is iconic, and whilst we're talking about the film, I also got this. So this has just been sitting in my drawer for, I want to say since November time, because I knew I wanted to showcase this with the vinyl as well. So what we have here is basically just an 8 mile box set essentially, so within that you get this steel book which actually looks kind of nice, and then inside you've got the rap battle going on and then also just the 4k disc and just regular blu-ray disc as well. Whilst in the rest of the box we basically get a couple of I think cards and other and a book for These are like actual frames slash pictures from the actual film. There you have him with all his crew. Anthony Mackie's character, cannot remember what his name was. B-Rabbit and his mama. And yeah, one of the 
rap battle things. I'm pretty sure that's the exhibit on that one. I'm not sure. And what the hell are these? Are these like top trumps? <laughs> these are like character profile cards. Okay, so there's like four of them. So these are my brand new Pokemon 8 Mile cards. Focus, there you go. So yeah, Eminem, Wild well, B Rabbit, Kim, and then what's her name? Brittany. And his mate in the film. Okay, so basically, this is a little booklet that goes kind of through a little bit of the credits of the film, as well as just like a little bit about each actor or each character at the very least, just sort of talking about a bit more behind the scenes of the film. So for people who are interested in that, then they've got this, but this is also the front of what shows the cards, by the way. So yeah, um, that has been my unboxing slash showcase of the 8 Mile limited edition 20th anniversary vinyl and the limited edition still box set of whatever <laughs> i don't know what to call this stuff so if you like seeing this sort of stuff and limited edition like m, m stuff then i recommend you go and check out this playlist or what's going to be on the end screen um i've got and i've opened a couple of things on video that are to do with m, &M limited edition stuff um in terms of the next limited edition thing i don't know will i get it probably but I also don't really know. Yeah, right, that was another video.